What's going on guys, Alpha here and welcome back to another video. So today's video is a bit different. I've never actually done anything like this. So if this video turns out to be not good at all, then just uh, let me know and I won't really make any more of it. But um, uh, I'm going to try to review a mod today. Um, so yeah, it's like a review or slash a uh, just a first look of a mod. The mod that we are going to talk about today is the Mercedes Actress MP3 Reworks and this mod is made by Mr. Capital. So this mod is actually not that new but the reason why I'm making this video is because it was recently updated to version 2.0 um, and that added a lot of new stuff so let's just take a look at it. Here it is, this is the Mercedes-Benz Actros MP3. Now this mod, it's, uh, it's not a standalone mod, it just improves the regular SES truck. So it adds stuff like plastic painted and chrome parts and yeah, some other stuff as well. So let's take a look at it. Starting off with the cabin selection, uh, we have a new cabin right here and that's the day cab. Uh, all the other stuff is the regular ones. Uh, but yeah, this day cab is new one and this is exclusive to just the tandem chassis. So in my opinion, it's absolutely amazing. Um, I really love trucks like that. But if you're not a fan of it, you can just choose a normal one. And if, if you choose a normal cabin, uh, you have these uh, low deck chassis here as well. So yeah, uh, you know, that looks cool, I guess. So but today's video we are going to take the take cab option so moving on to the chassis uh, because this is the day cab we only have four options um, fairly regular all all the different options they just uh, change the back axle so it's it can be lifted it can steer um, so yeah we're just gonna choose the best one here Engines, uh, to be honest, I'm not too sure if these are new ones or if these were on the stock SS truck as well, uh, but we're just gonna take something like that. So, uh, same goes for transmissions, you know, nothing that interesting here. Uh, let's just choose a normal one. Um, and yeah, so for interiors, this is exclusive, uh, or not exclusive, but with uh, with the day cab option, you don't have the option to choose another interior, but uh, if you have a normal cab here, let's actually show that, uh, you have different options here. So you can go UK if you want, and you also have this trust edition, which is a bit weird, but hey, you know, maybe you like it. So, but uh, yeah, let's go back to the day cab, make sure everything stayed on and move on so now for skins uh there are actually a couple of skins that are included so these five skins here uh this one is just a white skin but uh, all the other ones look really cool so yeah and this uh, skin here if you choose another cabin uh there is also a uh, like a exclusive version of this uh, skin which is metallic so that's really cool um but yeah uh Let's just go with the Schenker one for this video. So, um, yeah, and that's about it. So obviously, you know, you have your option to make your own skin here. If you want like metallic, you know, everything is supported. So, yeah. Moving on to customization. Um, as you can see, there are a lot of dots. So let's just uh, start on this side and try to go through all of them. So first of all, um, you know, this is fairly regular this one is included in the mod so that's a really cool feature here it adds the reverse light um, but yeah other than that on this side uh, you know mirrors you can change them if you want to um, and also we have these uh, patches here which are cool I guess but other than that it's a uh, it's a fairly regular one so also you know you can add this painted side if you want to. So moving on here, this is, I guess, one of the most interesting parts. Uh, you can choose different uh, trims for your lights. 
you know, all that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, because this is a take have option, I'm just going to pretty much keep it all stock because you know that's the most realistic one, I guess. Um, but still, I'm gonna go through everything and show you guys. So, um, you know, interesting options here. You know, you can go all chrome if you want to, like inside here, all paint. Um, but I think this one looks really cool, so let's just go with that one. And yeah, I mean, yeah, what else is there to say? Um, yeah, here you don't have anything new, but you know, who even uses this? <laughs> So, yeah. So yeah, and on this side, you know, it's pretty much the same, uh, nothing new here. Uh, but uh, moving up here, we have some actually really interesting parts. Uh, you can choose to have just slots. And um, that, you know, you can put lights here and stuff like that. And I also have the 50k mod installed that I talked about in my last video. So, you know, if you want to do that, uh, that's cool as well. But also what this one has are light boxes. I've actually never seen one like that on real trucks, but I guess they look cool. So let's just choose this uh, Schenker one. Uh, and as for, yeah, okay, pecans here, if you want, you know, you can at them so moving on to spoilers um you have some options here um actually let me take this one away because i think it would collide with some spoilers so yeah um you have stuff like that you know this is obviously all customized for the tandem chassis so if you had a regular chassis the spoilers would be a bit different uh, but i guess let's just choose this one that looks cool and now we are getting to the second best part about this mod and this is the tandem part right here. So this mod is um, obviously as you can see the um, Scandinavian truck box makers whatever who they are um, here like NTM and stuff. Uh, this mod is compatible with them obviously uh, that was part of the 2.0 update. Um, so as you can see here, uh, you have the low boxes that are actually custom made for this truck only. Um, but you also have like the regular ones, like the really high ones, which look really weird with this cabin. Um, but yeah, you have a you have absolute ton of options here if you want. As you can see. Um, Yeah, let's not take this one, but um, yeah, stuff like that. So, and also you can like choose different coolers here if you want to, but you know, that one collides with our spoiler. So I am not going to choose this one, um, but yeah. So, you know, as you can see, you have absolute ton of options here. So you can really much do whatever you want. So yeah, but uh, let's just keep it simple and take this one because that one suits this cabin really well and it looks really cool. Uh, so moving on, we have um, tanks here. So if you want to have like a painted tank uh, or even a chrome tank, then you can, uh, but we're just gonna keep it simple. Um, and here is the this part of the truck. So because we took the, um, this company's uh, box, we, I'm also gonna choose these rails with this here, but you, you know, you have absolute ton of options here. So you can really customize and do whatever you like. So yeah, uh, moving on to the fenders. Um, uh, again, absolute ton of options here. So. You know, I just like these Domar ones, they look really cool, so I'm just gonna keep it simple again. Uh, but, you know, as you can see, the options really are endless, like, there's so many combinations you can do with this mod. So, and now, there are a couple of dots that don't really appear, like, when you're here. So, you're gonna have to, like, come all the way down here, and then you can choose stuff, so... Um, 
but first of all before we choose the lights uh, we have the option to choose a lift um, and yeah this one again really cool looks really cool so yeah so here if you come around to this side of the truck you can see there's a new dot here and you can choose a mod flap if you want to so let's just go with something like that and if you want lights uh, you again have to come all the way around here or actually yeah yeah you have to so um, and yeah again absolute ton of options here do whatever you like um, you know these look really cool but I'm just gonna keep it simple again and uh, yeah that's about it I probably missed some dots somewhere but uh, anyways that's about it for the mod so let's just uh, confirm this and take it out so here is the truck it uh, as you can see it looks really cool um, you know everything is just it's it's just done so well so you know if you're interested in this kind of trucks if you know uh, and you don't have to do the tandem truck you know the uh, mod has parts for just regular trucks as well but that is just what I chose to do so you know if you're if you don't like tandem trucks you can do something different so definitely go ahead and check this mod out um, this video I I'm not really too sure how it turned out uh, you know I'm not really used to doing videos without a script so it might really sound absolutely awful um, and if it does I might not even upload it so we'll see but if you're seeing this video just let me guys know what you think about it and if you want me to do similar videos about different mods and yeah so thanks for watching guys and i will see you in my next video